Hello guys, this is Richard Reese TV and welcome back to my channel. But before I start the devotional guys, I would like to shout out the Palayong Pursuit channel na punta rito at nag-join sa devotional the other night. Shout out and God bless to Sofia Bianca, Ping Bertolpo, Nanaya Makolda, Hilda Dizon, Scarlett Bongisnis, Retro Blog, Juna Salondaga, Mama Elma, Pilipina Abroad, Jojo Lacerna, Loris Channel, Yotok Family Blog, Heart Ponsalan, Samotsarin Blog, Sacial Love, Bila Batal, Jocelyn Custodio, Pamilya Lagan Channel, Devs Villa, Dia Lakdang, Cody Blog, Midnight Chin, Always Online, and Psyche Karyon. Praise God! Natapos na naman ang Friday, no? Then, rest na naman tayo bukas and let's enjoy our day tomorrow together with our families. Okay guys, let's now proceed to our devotional. Let's open our Bible to Mark chapter 14 verses 1 to 9. Still guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because to which you see is simplified to maintain the hand talaga natin. Okay, the word of the Lord in Mark chapter 14 verse 1 to 9. This is about Jesus anointed at Bethany. Okay, it says, Now the Passover and the Feast of Unleavened Bread were only two days away, and the chief priest and the teacher of the law were looking for some sly way, sly way to arrest Jesus and kill him. But not during the feast, they said, or the people may riot. While he was in Bethany reclining, at the table in the home of man known as Simon the Leaper, a woman came with an alabaster jar of very expensive perfume made of pure nard. She broke the jar and poured the perfume on her on his head. Some of those present were saying indignantly to one another, Why this waste of perfume? It could have been sold for more than a year's wages, and the money given to the poor, and they rebuke her harshly. Leave her alone, Jesus said. Why are you bothering her? She has done a beautiful thing to me. The poor will always have with you, and you can help them anytime you want, but you will not always have me. She did what she could. She poured perfume on my body beforehand to prepare for my burial. I tell you the truth. Wherever the gospel is preached throughout the world, that she, what she has done, will also be told in memory of her. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, let's now pray. <clears throat> Lord, gaya ng babaeng nagdala ng expensive perfume unto you, nag annoyance sa you, oh God. Reveal to us, oh God, how we anoint you and could give you something best, oh Lord from us na people would really remember us when we die like what you have said to that uh, woman na hindi mawawala yung history sa ginagawa niya oh God sa iyo she anointed you with perfume oh God yes and until this time the memory of her her story is still in us this time oh God Lord lead us teach us guide us and reveal it to us, O oh God, kung paano ka namin ma-anoint, O oh Lord. I commit these things to you, O oh God, sir, pray. Amen. Amen. <coughs> okay, excuse me. <clears throat> okay, our focus verse for this evening, guys, is found in Mark 14, 4, and it says, Some of those presenters say indignantly to one another, Why this waste of perfume? No? Uh, yes. So the title of devotion for this evening, guys, is Dancing Before the Lord. A number of years ago, my wife and I visited a small church where during the worship service, a woman began to dance in the aisles. She was soon joined by others. Caroline and I looked at each other and an unspoken agreement passed between us, not me. We come from church tradition that favors a serious liturgy. 
and this other form of worship was well beyond our comfort zone. Oh, nga naman, no? Yung iba, ganyan. But if Mark's story of Mary's waste means everything at all, it suggests that our love for Jesus may expre express itself in ways that others find uncomfortable. A year's wages were involved in many, in Mary's anointing. It was an unwise act that invited the disciples to scorn. The word Mark uses to describe their reactions means to snort and suggest disdain and mockery. Mary may have cleansed fearing Jesus' response, but he commended her for her act of devotion and defended her against his own disciple. For Jesus saw the love that prompted her action despite what some would consider the imp impractical nature of it. He said, Why are you bothering her? She has done a beautiful thing for me. Different form of worship, informal, formal, quiet, exuberant, represent a sincere outpouring of love for Jesus. He is worthy of all worship that comes from a heart of love. Yes, guys, no? Totoo nga naman. Uh, ako, I love worshiping na medyo maingay. <laughs> Kasi I'm also, ano, yung parang already oriented with medyo maingay. And then I'm also oriented with uh, yung solemn na ganyan, no? So, kasi being a missionary before, no? Parang adjustable ako, no? Sa, siyempre kasi hindi lang isang church na pinupuntahan namin, no? But different churches. Kaya, ako, I consider, no? Maski yung ano, yung dancing before the Lord. Kasi may mga churches talaga na ganyan. And I also dance with them, no? Uh, I miss uh, doing these things also. Even yung mga uh, solemn, no? When I was in uh, Germany, I've been to an Anglican church and very solemn yung ano nila, no? no? Ang na, ano, ang, na gusto ka pa, ko, ko pa doon is yung, yung incense na pinapaganon, no? No, pare, no? And the incense is, uh, really smells good. Wow, I, I miss the, no, the, the feel of an incense, no? So, yan din yung ano ko, guys, ginagawa ko. Like Mary, no? Yung act of worship niya is... Binuhusan niya, pinalikuha niya si Lord, ng, si Lord Jesus ng perfume, pinahiran niya ng mahabang buhok. No? So, yun. Yun yung act of worship ni Mary. To some, yeah, it's a waste because perfume is really expensive, but that's various way of worshiping God. Diba? Okay, so let's now proceed to the two question. Why do you think we're critical of unfamiliar forms of worship? That's why, guys, we need to be sensitive. Kano yung style nila, no? Hindi yung uh, we immediately correct them, no? Sa ganun. Kasi yun yung tradition nila, di ba? So, we need to observe na lang kung ano yung ano. And then, kung ano man yung ano mo, eh, you you ano na lang, you keep quiet kasi ikaw pumasok doon, eh, di ba? So, yun, you have to pray for it and discern things and God will reveal it also to you. Okay, second question, how can we change our thoughts about form of worship that's outside our comfort zone? Yes, no? Uh, like sa ginawa ng, ano, ng author na to, no? Nakunta sila sa, sa isang church, na, di ba yung worship nila? So, they really have to be quiet. Do not say something against them. Kasi ikaw, ano punta doon, di ba? You are invading their territory. Do not, do not correct them. No? Do not correct them. But, uh, ipray mo muna. Ipray mo muna. Kano, kano ang dapat gawin, di ba? O, then, try to discern things. Okay, kung di mo na gusto yung worship niya, ba't ka pa pupunta doon, di ba? Okay, so, respect, uh, respect, uh, no, the right uh, thing for them. I guess let's now pray. I bow before you, or you bow before you, Almighty God, and worship you now. You're worthy of the highest praise and adoration. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, is God Almighty, no? Lahat, lahat na napangalan sa Kanya, no? Savior, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shammah, Jehovah Rapa, and dami, dami. Almighty, no? Omniscient, omnipotent, and represent, ever-living God, incarnate God, the Holy One, the Mighty One. Ang dami nating pangalang. 
and Lord Jesus. Ah guys, sana na blessed tayo sa devotional natin. Huwag kalahin magpunta rito at manood. Mag-join sa devotional ni Ritz TV. Huwag lang mag-tamsak. <laughs> Done. Then, uh, wala na. Uh, kailangan tapusin natin yung devotional para maintindihan natin yung mensahe na uh, pinapashare ni Lord sa atin. Ah guys, God bless us all because the God which really bless us 10 times better. This again, Ritz TV. Kita-kita tayo mga tangan sa muli. Paalam!